Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name's James Marley. This week I'm joined by Roger Montgomery and Don Williams. We're talking financials. We're coming into banking reporting season, NAB. Look, I've never liked NAB. It's the worst performing business out of the four banks. It's added no intrinsic value over a decade, and that's why its share price today is lower than what it was 11 years ago. Okay, Don, Nat? Yeah, no disagreement here. NAB is the worst of the banks, um, both in an earnings growth perspective and quality perspective. There is an improving trend there, but we think you should sell that and invest in the other banks. Okay, next one. QBE coming through some trouble times? Yeah, QBE is, uh, seems to us QBE is quite an accident prone uh, business. Uh, again, we don't, you know, we don't like, we don't like insurance generally, and, um, and specifically with QBE, they seem to have made a lot of trouble for themselves as well as being in a tough sector, so that's a sell for us. Roger? Uh, well, I think it's, I think it's a hole at this stage, but if you don't own it, you don't buy it. So I don't know how you hold something you don't own. Um, but, it, but it's a hole because it could be very, very good for them, but the demonstrated track record isn't there yet, so you want to see some proof in the pudding. Okay, it's a hole. All right, let's talk about funds management, perpetual. Yeah, uh, expensive for us. Uh, it's about 30% over our valuation, um, and that's partly because all the fund managers have had a good run recently. Um, I think management in that business uh, is, is less good than other fund managers, uh, and both Don and I are fund managers, so we know how to run these businesses, and I think they could run it a lot better. Okay, did it sell? Uh, it's probably a sell. Okay, Don? Yeah, I, I, I sort of counted that with a buy, but it's really about the cycle. Um, you know, Perpetual, in their most recent results, they've shown they still have good leverage to markets. Um, as a generalisation, the, the returns from most of their products are quite good. They're typically in the top two quartiles. So I, on, a, on a 12 to 18 month view, I have a buy. Yeah, it's a buy. What about Henderson Group? Uh, we own that one, uh, so I, I guess I have to put that as a buy. But yeah, Henderson, Henderson's quite a diversified business compared to Perpetual, more diversified than Perpetual and Global. So we, you know, that's why we prefer Henderson's over Perpetual. And, um, and, and you know, we see good growth out of Henderson's for as long as the markets are in reasonable shape. What about you, Roger? Uh, well, I, I agree with everything Don said. I think, it's a, I think it's a better run business than Perpetual. But for us, because it's expensive, I can't put it by. I don't have to put a hold on it. And to hold. All right, one to finish up on, Oz Forex, a new entrant to the, uh, to the market. I just think absurdly expensive for what it is. I think it's a brilliant business concept. I'm not sure that it's proven that it's got great barriers to entry that are sustainable. Um, but because of its expense, because of how dear it is compared to its intrinsic value for us, it's a sell. It's a sell. What you done? Uh, for us, it's a buy. It's one that we, we bought uh, in the IPO and then we added to uh, post-listing. It will be volatile in the first couple of years, I'll, I'll concede that. Um, it, it's a high growth uh, business on a very high multiple. And I guess our, our view is that the, um, the possible fo footprint that they could achieve uh, justifies the valuation. Well, that's a wrap on some financials for you.